Here on Mazon HD Sportsnet, presented by the JMU Alumni Association with head women's golf coach, Sarah Sargent. Coach, first off, welcome back. How is the little one doing? She is easy and we are spoiled, so I can't complain. I can't use that as an excuse for being tired. <laughs> <laughs> being a parent, I do fully understand that. Looking back now, you've, you've had your first tournament back with your team down at UNCG, where you were the head coach. Talk a little bit about the tournament and the performance of the ladies. I was really happy um, with the second round of the tournament. Really, we didn't play to our level the first round or the last round. So the fact that we were in second place going into the final round, really, it, it, was, it was a great thing, but it wasn't something that I wasn't expecting. So I was proud of the girls for putting themselves in that position, and we'll learn from where we were and move forward for the next tournament. Talk a little bit about Shabril. She was able to put together three good rounds and ended up as runner-up in the tournament and CAA co-golfer of the week. It was it was awesome to watch. She looked so relaxed out there. She looked like it was something that came second nature to her. So it was it was really fun to see her. And the fact that she birdied her last hole um, to get that second place finish was awesome. And she walked off, and I said to her, I think we're going to have some hardware in the bus on the way home. And she goes, really? She had no clue. So the fact that she kind of just was going about her business and getting things done, I think that shows a lot about her character and a lot about her as a golfer. How does that help you show the rest of the team that, hey, you guys can do the same thing too? Um, I think she is a great leader and captain. Um, I don't think it's anything I can do. I think it's them watching her, the way that her mannerisms are, the way that she's relaxed, the way that she says, okay, I'm putting myself into this position because I like it. I like being here. I like the, the sense of maybe feeling a little bit nervous. I like the sense of competition. So I think they can watch her. Um, and the best thing I can do is just suggest to them, watch how Shabril handles herself because she really does handle herself well. How, what, describe your style on the course during a tournament, how you like to manage the team. I think as a coach, a lot of our coaching is done before we go to the tournament. Um, this is a very individual sport. It is something that if I walk up to someone and haven't seen them put a ball all day and then I'm going to help them read a putt, I don't know if they've been hitting it three feet by. I don't know if they've been lagging it up there. So it's really hard for me to walk up and be like, okay, well, I'm going to help you read this putt. So I'm much more of a hands-on for 12 to 15 holes, sometimes 18 if they've got things Good, good things rolling. I'm going to stay with them the whole time because there's no point in in changing something that's going well. Um, so I'm much more of a let's work with everyone in practice. When we get to the tournament, I'm going to focus more on one or two people that I think I would be able to help the most, and the girls know that. And I think. For instance, Shabril. I saw her play probably 10 holes of the 54 that she played, but that's because I knew she could handle herself. I don't need to babysit Shabril on the golf course. Yes, as a coach, would I love to say that I had a, a major part in Shabril's second place finish? Sure. But really, it was Shabril doing it on her own. I was trying to help some of the freshmen um, get a little bit more comfortable on the golf course. Um, and so hopefully by the time they're juniors and seniors, I can say to them, good luck. I'll see you when it's done, and I hope you get a second place finish. With the freshmen, what are some of the adjustments you have to make with them in showing them what college golf is about? I think the biggest difference between high school and junior golf um, and college golf is length of the golf courses, difficulty of the golf courses, and strength of field. So it's really getting them comfortable in the new environment. Um, they're going to be nervous. That is just a fact. And really, sophomores, juniors, and seniors are going to be nervous also once they get in the hunt. But for freshmen, I think they have a high expectation. You know, they want to prove to their coaches that they were the right recruits. They want to prove to their coaches that they can do this. And it's still freshmen jitters. So that's where I walk with them. And, you know, anyone that knows golf knows that if you have a second opinion that, yes, that putt breaks, you know, a ball outside on the right, you're going to hit that putt so much more confidently. So really, I just am trying to get them comfortable being in their new environment. And that way, when they're sophomores, juniors, and seniors, I can work with the, the freshmen coming in. And Coach Brotherton can do the same thing. Talked about the level of competition, getting ready to head to the Lady Pirate Intercollegiate. Talk about the tournament and what your expectations are there. I think this is a little bit stronger field in Greensboro. I think we were probably one of the best two teams in Greensboro. Um, ECU's tournament, we're probably one of the top five. If you look at it statistically, um, I think I'll be very happy with the top three. A top five would be good. Um, anything less than that, I think we will not have played to our potential. But 
Um, really, the fall season is getting ready for the spring. So I'm going to take any positives I can out of every tournament that we play, no matter where we finish. So I'm excited just to see kind of what we do in a little bit stronger of a field. Um, these girls are better than what I think they think they are. Um, I think they just need a little love and a little confidence because they're really pretty darn good. So, Are you a little bit surprised at how, how you've gotten, you know, they've responded so far in the early part of the season? Um, I am just because when you're... When you're taking a new job, you're looking at stats. Yes, we played in a couple tournaments with Jamie last year, but I didn't really watch the girls play. So I'm looking at stats, and they didn't have a great spring last year. I think, you know, anytime you know your coach is retiring, you have a transition, you, you don't know what's going to happen. I mean, that's just a fact. Um, so, yes, am I surprised? Yes. Am I extraordinarily happy? Of course. Um, these girls, their stats from previous years don't really match up to their ability level. Their ability level is much higher. So now my expectations are risen, um, but I need to get them to believe it in order for them to produce what I think they can produce. So what are your goals for the remainder of the fall to get them to that level in preparation for the spring? I think the, just... I, as, as a coach, I'm trying to get them to play more and more and more. Um, when we're practicing, I want them to practice drills that they can see results. Because I think the more they see their results and see how good they can be with their results, um, the more confidence they're going to have going to tournaments. I think if we have two decent finishes and we keep our rating inside the top 75 in the country, they might say, hey, you know what? This is where we belong. Um, so I think those those are my goals for the rest of the fall and the spring, you know, just making sure that we're prepared coming out of the winter for the a little bit more difficult schedule. I think having top five finishes over and over and over is going to be huge. Well, we really appreciate you taking the time and coming and seeing us today. Thanks, Sean. Again, Head Coach Sarah Sargent of the Women's Golf Program here on Mazzone HD Sportsnet presented by the JMU Alumni Association.